Good. So everything is prepared now to write our first fast test. To do that, we create a new file uh, here, a JavaScript file, and let's call it just fast target. Fast target JS. Okay, so every fast target has to export a function called fast. Let us do that. Uh, export. Um, uh, module this one and the function is called fuzz and it takes one parameter let's call that fuzz data so this parameter represents um, a buffer that is filled with the fuzzing input of the, the current run okay now we want to invoke the actual method we want to test. So we can uh, require that. Um, server and server.js here. And now we call, let's start with the asynchronous case. Okay, and that needs some um, request data. Uh, in our case, the most convenient way here is just to pass in the whole fast data as a string to this request function and um, see what happens there. So we don't have to split it up in different parameters for this case. And yeah, um, it's asynchronous like many JavaScript uh, functions. So we have to await its uh, finish and uh, mark the function is async here. Okay, so our first target is now set up and we can start it down at the console here. So npx jazzle, like before. <clears throat> and now we have to specify the first target as a second parameter, or yeah, first parameter actually. And that's it, let that run. So here is the you know, some fuzzer output. You see, um, like the uh, amounts of um, features that are discovered, and um, the amount of 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 execute per second that are executed here. And shortly, it should find a bug. I think my system is a little bit stressed here with. Uh, live streaming, but already found two things here that are compared. And yeah, finally, here we see that it found a bug, um, an uncaught exception in the this asynchronous function. And the error was triggered. Um, so this is the actual error text here, error triggered by request awesome fuzzing. So the fuzzer came up with the input, awesome fuzzing, and that caused uh, something in the server code to uh, throw an exception that wasn't cached. Here you have also stack traces and so on. And the, um, the problematic input in, in different, um, different uh, formats here. <clears throat> 